At that time, Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to John to be baptized by him. John would have prevented him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? But Jesus answered him, Let it be so now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he consented. And when Jesus was baptized, he went up immediately from the water, and behold, the heavens were open, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, with who I am well pleased. Peace be unto you, proclaim the good news of the gospel. Everyone, Kalimera says, Kephronia Pola. A blessed feast day to us on this feast day of Theophany. We learn so many things at this great feast day of the church, oftentimes referred to as the third greatest feast day throughout the entire year. Of course, the event of Jesus' baptism in the River Jordan. We learn, as we heard in the prayers of the Blessing of the Water Service, that we have a God who loves us to such an extent that he was willing to humble himself to become a part of his own creation and then humble himself even further to kneel down and be baptized by a part of his creation, John the Baptist, all as a part of his plan so that you and I can get into heaven for our salvation. We learn also of the representation of the entire Trinity, which made itself present and able to be recognized at the event of the Epiphany. When our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ came up from the water, as we heard in the Gospel reading today, he looked up, he saw the Spirit in the form of a dove, which made itself manifest for people to be able to recognize and see. And then the voice of the Father was heard, uttering once again, this is my Son with whom I'm well pleased. Yet, what I hope that each and every one of us can walk away from today's service knowing about the Feast of Epiphany, what you and I can take away other than just a small bottle of holy water is the knowledge that when anything is joined to Jesus Christ, it's better. You see, the waters of the Jordan were affected when Jesus was baptized. We heard in Scripture and then referenced throughout the prayers of today's service that when the Lord entered into the waters of the Jordan River, that it reversed its flow. The river understood that this isn't natural. God isn't supposed to be a part of his creation. God isn't supposed to humble himself to be baptized by his own creation. Jesus doesn't need to be baptized. And in recognizing this, it reversed its flow during those moments that Christ was in the water. Something special took place. We represent this and symbolize it during the blessing of the water service when throughout the context of the entire service, just normal tap water is turned into sanctified, blessed water. But the pinnacle is when the cross, the cross of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, enters into the water, is baptized into that water. And by that water being joined to Christ, being joined to the cross of our Lord, then it transforms, it is good. The cross itself was transformed from the ultimate form of capital punishment and darkness and despair to the ultimate form of life and light and hope when Jesus Christ touched himself to it. And the same thing goes for you and for me. When we join ourselves to Christ, when we have Christ inside of us, when we receive Holy Communion at the Divine Liturgy, when we open up our Bibles and as a pilgrim of faith, we read and receive the Word of God, when we join ourselves to Jesus Christ, we become better. When our marriages are connected to Jesus Christ, the marriage is better. When our families are connected to Jesus Christ. When we come up together, parents and children, to receive Holy Communion, all together, when we read Holy Scripture, all together in our homes, we become better. When our church 
is focused primarily and most profoundly on joining itself and delivering the experience to others to be able to be joined to Jesus Christ, we become better. Let us never forget and let us take away from the Feast of Epiphany this reality that the most beneficial thing that any of us can ever do as individuals, as families, as a church, is to be joined to Christ. Because with Christ, miraculous things take place. On our own, good things can happen, but not much miraculous. And you and I, we need miracles. And so, this epiphany, let us recommit ourselves to a life that is joined to the Lord. Let us recommit ourselves to holding steadfast to the presence of Jesus Christ in our daily lives. Receive communion when you come to the Divine Liturgy. Read the Bible on a daily basis, even if it's just for two minutes. And stay engaged in your prayer lives. Because with that, we become transfigured and miraculous things happen in the world around us. May the good Lord, who is always present for us, continue His ever-presence and work miracles through our lives as we strive to be connected to Him. Now, as you can see, some of our altar helpers are filling up the holy water bottles now behind me. <clears throat> They're going to be taking them around where you transition from the narthex into the nave. Please, I ask, there's a limited amount. Take one bottle per family. One bottle per household, please. And when you get home, you can add it to other bottles, and the blessings of the Lord continue. You'll be able to come here to receive a blessing from Father John and Father Dimitri with the Holy Basilico, the basil that was used in the service in the cross on one side and the other. You'll be able to take your own piece of andiveron and then your own bottle of holy water as you go home. May the glory of the Lord be seen in the witness of this spiritual family staying connected to Him in all things. Chronia once again to all of us who should be celebrating this day. May the Lord be with us this day and always. God bless you.